welcome back my peeps so i have a really quick short um tutorial for you and it has to do with covering a cake board um as most of you know i used to make cakes and stuff like real cakes and treats um before i started doing fake baking and um whenever i made a cake like i just didn't like want to put the cake on this and he'd say he, like the cake is so beautiful right and everything's looking good and then you put the cake on this and it just i don't know something about it it just makes it look cheap even though your cake is beautiful it makes the cake look cheap so what we used what we did was we covered the cake board like when we made real cakes you could use anything you want you could use like i got some card stock right here like you could use card stock you can use um wrapping paper you can use there's so many like options for you to use but if you get a chance and you ever find these um like card stock what they call them what they call these pads there's a name for these pads but i can't anyway these are scrapbook paper pads and they come with like lots of different styles and designs patterns i had these for a long long time like um from when i used to bake cakes and stuff but anyways so you take you get that and when the when i used to bake i used to actually put a piece of um a layer of like clear what's that called uh because you know food is going to go on top of it so you want to make sure that nothing like is going to come in contact with it but we don't need to do that because this is fake fake bake we don't it's not real food no one's going to eat it i'm going to take out this page right here and make a cake board out of this i mean cover my cake board with this so you always want to turn your paper over and draw draw your circle on the opposite side because you don't want those pencil lines or pen lines to show now make sure you go try to get your circle as round as possible you know just follow the the board Get your scissor and just cut it out, right? You just want, like, you made this pretty cake. Even if it's a fake bake, we don't, I mean, still, especially if you're selling it to somebody. Okay, like you guys know, I don't sell fake bakes. I just create them for you guys and you guys can do whatever you want. Make them for yourself, sell them, it doesn't matter. Um, But why not make it look... You know like a complete fancy nice cake from beginning from top to bottom like why should we just use i mean so why should only real cakes look you know have this look i don't know that's just me right so there's my circle and it's gonna go on my board <clears throat> like this one like my king cake, I covered it in gold paper. And then I put, uh, you see this board? All right, if you put this on it, but you see this and it doesn't look finished and it doesn't look pretty well, we're going to do something about that too. See, I put an edge on this one. It got bling on it, right? So what you could put on that, you could put bling. Bling comes in all colors. Here goes some bling. I'm going to use some green bling only because I have it. But if you don't have that, you can use ribbon. Just make sure the ribbon is thin. You don't want a ribbon that's going to like overlap too much on your board, okay? You want to make sure you have a thin ribbon. You just really want enough to cover that, you know, the raw edge on your cake board. You don't really want it to overlap too much but if it does try to keep it to the bottom 
you know, not where you're going to see it at the top where it's going to meet your, um, your card stock. So I have some green bling that I just happened to find. Or you could use something like this. This is like a rope. You could use um, twine, whatever. Just cover up that edge. So basically, I'm not going to use hot glue to glue this down because it gets lumpy and ugly and it's just not good. I'm going to use some tacky glue. Make sure you get close to the edge. I'm going to use my finger to spread the glue around. Basically, make sure you just um, glue the edge up real good. Because you don't want the cake board to come up. So bring that glue all the way to the edge. If you don't want to touch the glue, you can use a brush. But I have no problem with the glue. Touching the glue. I've been touching glue for years. <laughs> But yeah, so you just want to make sure you get it to the edge, spread it around. Okay, then you're gonna take your um, you're gonna take your cake board, and you're gonna take your cutout that you made, and you're gonna put it on there, and you're just gonna make sure. So turn it around, look at it, make sure you don't need to push it down a little bit to the other edge because it might be leaning and not, it might not have enough coverage on this side. Make sure it's good. If you want, you can go around the edge again because even though you trace it around, for some reason it's just sometimes the ends up come up longer than what you did, what you um the circle you traced. I don't know why. Maybe somebody knows why, but I don't know why. So if you want it, you can cut you can cut the edge. Make it even. I actually like to go around it with a but I don't know with my like I'm sorry guys. With a uh um like a blade. Just hold it down real good and just go around it. And cut that edge off right oh goodness <laughs> what is going on here i'm not cutting deep enough that's why see and i just cut that ed edge off could have used some edge cutting over here And look, you see now it is no extra on the back, right? It's not necessary, but I got issues and I always want everything to look nice. So now I'm going to get my, my bling and I'm going to cut it. So the thing about bling, you know, it comes in rows like that. So like, let's say you have a, um, for this, you could just use one row. But if you had a thicker board, like say you glue two of them together or three of them together, you could um get your, you know, cut it to the size you want. Like you might need three rows instead of one. That's what I like about bling. But, you and with ribbon, all you gotta do is just get you a thicker piece of ribbon and you'll be good. So now you wanna like try to figure out how much you're gonna need. I just want to cut one strip, but if you don't have one strip and you have little strips, you could glue it together piece by piece. But since I'm here with you guys, I'm just going to try to cut it down pretty easily. Then you take it and you're going to, um, I just need, I know, I know for this board, one strip is good enough. So I'm just going to cut one strip down. I just wanted to come and share it. I know I, I've told you, you know, in other cake videos that I've done that I made a cake board. I kind of really didn't explain it. So I thought I would just make a quick, quick.
quick tutorial so you guys know what I'm talking about and so you can do it for your own cakes okay it's pretty fast so if you want to cut these edges a little bit more you can but nobody's really going to notice that too much so it doesn't really matter so i take my glue gun let me see if i try to start at a good let's start over here on this side so you just take your glue gun and go around the edge and you start putting your bling down. Now be careful if you have finger protectors. You might want to use that. Because you might hit your finger on this. You see that? Just go all around the edge. And if you don't, like I, I feel like I cut off enough bling. But if I didn't, I'll just cut off another piece. Add it and continue going. That's it. Now try to get it to the edge of your cake board where your cake board meets. You want it to like, you don't want to go down too far where you can still see some of the cake board, okay? You just want it to meet. And the same with the ribbon. Just be careful and try not to use as too much uh, hot glue where it gets lumpy. Other than that, you'll be just fine. So, see, it's coming out nice. And it doesn't take long to do. And you get a nice, you know, your cake is going on a nice board. And you have it looking pretty. I feel like fake baking, a lot of the stuff that you do in real baking, you're doing fake baking. Like, you want a, your cake to look pretty? Make a pretty cake board. Make sure you get it to that edge so you don't see the board underneath. And you are good to go. After you're all done, then you take all these glue strings off of it. And you're ready to put your fake bake on it. Your fake cake. So... I miss AC more because they used to have like the ribbon for 50 cents and it used to be the thin ribbon like be perfect for this now I gotta go to Michael's and Hobby Lobby and they really don't be having no 50 cent ribbon you know it's either 97 cents or $1.47 but not 50 cents. Okay, come to the end of my board. All right, I overlapped a little bit. All y'all do is take your scissor and cut the piece off that overlaps. And you're good. See that? It makes your cake board look so nice. And bling comes in all colors. I mean... If you go to Michaels and stuff, you might only find them in certain colors, but you know, you can order it online or you can like it's up to you. But I just think that a cake, let's take this cake for instance. Like this cake, I didn't really even put it on a stand or anything. But if I give you this cake like this, the cake is so nice, but look at the board. You ain't going to really, I mean, some people don't care. But look how nice it looks on a finished board. I'm just saying. You don't have to do it, but 
I'm just letting you guys know. I mean, it's because I used to make real cakes. That, and I guess that's why, I like, kind of it gets on my nerves when I see um pretty fake bakes not on a board. It really just... And it's so easy. And it's cheap. You could buy a whole pack of these at Hobby Lobby when they have their 50% off sale. Or you can buy them at Walmart or you... Michaels. Everybody has cake boards. So there's no reason why you can't have any. You know? It makes the cake look so nice. It's gold, blingy. I put gold at the edge. It just looks good. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, guys. I'm just here to share some information. And hopefully you'll agree with me that your cake needs a cake board. <laughs> Especially if you sell them. If you're selling them, if you're selling the cakes, I think you should put it on the cake board. That's just me. But then again, like I told you, I got issues. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. And I hope you try it. And make your cakes look extra fancy, even if they fake. So until the next video, stay safe, stay healthy, keep crafting. Talk to you later. God bless.